Hey there everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we got something exciting to talk about which is port scanning. What is it? Why it matters? And how can you try it yourself? So let's jump right in. Let's start with the basics. Port scanning is like knocking on someone's door to see which ones are open and which ones are closed. In computer networks, devices use doors called ports to talk to each other. Port scanning help us find out which doors are open, which is essential for fixing problems and keeping our network safe. So there's a couple of types of port scans. Port scans come in different flavors. We got the TCP scan, which we'll be using in this video. TCP scan is like polite handshake. Don't know what a handshake is. A handshake is essentially when a connection is established between machines, like if we're on a computer or a computer in a server. There's other types of port scanning, like SYN scan, which is uh, also aka called uh, half open scan, UDP scan, XMAS scan, null scan, and FIN scan. Before we move on, remember with the great power comes great responsibility. Port scanning can cause trouble if done without permission. Always ask for authorization before scanning networks or system. It's essential to follow the rules and use port scanning for learning and securing our own networks, not doing malicious stuff. So let's start by uh, demonstrating on how to create a simple port, sc port scanner in my preferred little, uh, language, which is Python. So first of all, we're gonna create a new folder, well, let's just call it. We don't need a folder, but I want to keep stuff organized. Port scanning, let's call it port scanning. And let's drag and drop on Visual Studio. And here we go, this is our folder. Let's make a new file and we're gonna call it scan.py. So, import a couple of stuff like uh, socket. We need the socket. We need Q. And we need something to make it go faster. Threading. Threading is very essential to make the scripts or are able to run on multiple threads. This can make the runtime up to 10, 20, 30 times faster depending on what you are using. We need to import our an essential uh, library which is IPY. Actually, let's import from IPY. Let's import. We only need IP. There we go. So let's start writing the code. First, before trying to knock on the doors, we need to save our variables. So let's start with, uh, we can create a function called fmain. And we're gonna put it in the track set block. Try. First of all, we need to get the target host. Which IP are we targeting? Enter the target host. IP or host name and we need the target ports which ports are we targeting so we are targeting a host which machine are we talking about here the range of ports now we, we don't want to scan all the ports that's going to take time enter the range of ports to scan this example from 1 to 200 uh, add comments right here get the target host ip host name and the port port to scan here we go now let's parse the range we go we got start port import we're gonna map them into an integer target from target ports and we're gonna split it on the uh, dash so then we can have our port range. We create a range will be the start port and the end port. For example, if we type here 1 and 200, the start port will be 1 and the end port will be actually uh, 199 in the use case of this. So we need to add 1 so it will be 200. Let's add some comments. We're gonna parse the ports range. Here we go, we got a port range ready set up. Let's do an accept in case we got a keyboard interrupt. We interrupt. Okay, in case you have a keyboard interrupt, 
we gonna print in for scanning interrupt uh let's add another except it, we got a value error we'll just say invalid in please enter valid ip and port range that works let's make sure our function works if name we're gonna run the main function so let's start by checking if the ip is an actual ip let's check this by get ip target host and we'll call direct ip equals target host if you have value error and it's not an actual thing so value error we're gonna get target ip equals socket uh we're gonna get host by name if you are using a host by name not actual ip like a one one point one something something this is to check if the input is an ip or host name and get the ip from it now let's uh make a queue call it a port queue this port queue will essentially uh, like a queue to hold all the ports like to be scanned all the ports that we need to get scanned oh yeah we didn't import from queue my bad we need to import the queue here we go now we're gonna add all the ports in the queue so for each port in the port range we're gonna put it in the port queues so will be port queue the put and our ports now we need to create a list of all uh, the open ports that we found so we can have like some sort of a summary at the end of the port scan to tell us the open port so for that we need to create the open open force and empty array here we go now let's create the threads up now we're gonna use start the port scanning using threading so you use it for dash and range minimum num threads let's create new variable num threads 100 will be good this is the number of uh, threads that will be used this depends on your machine so if your machine machine can handle that much you're good to go if you can you can lower the number but that will be essentially good so minimum then num threads and then for range so for every single into that range we're gonna run let's start create a thread create thread is literally simple we call it the threading and to create thread we go function th a thread we, we have the target which is scan ports scan ports will be the function that we are targeting the function will be running the thread with so function so dev scan ports and what we need here is the arguments so def ports we need the target ip we need the port queue and we need the open port so we can add the ports there so we're gonna copy paste them really quick here we're gonna add our argument for the thread function it's gonna be ords uh, target ip port queue and open ports so now we're gonna add the thread list and we start our thread and that's it after all the threads are finally complete for thread in thread list thread join after all the threads are complete we are gonna create a summary from the open ports so if open ports if true if there's open ports we're gonna print summary of open ports or actually i just call it summary that'll be better for port in the open ports, we're gonna save uh, all the open ports that we scanned in there, not the closed ones. For each port in there, we're gonna print it. We're gonna go port, port, and let's let's say open. Else, if we don't find any open ports, if it's empty, we'll just say no open ports found. I think our function here is done. Now let's start with the scan ports function. This function scans the specified ports in the target IP or host name. It checks if the ports literally open or closed and appends it to the uh, open ports list. While true, actually, while not the port queue, if the port queue is not empty, the ports gonna be port queue then we gotta try accept block uh, let's have our socket and we we'll just call it s so socket that socket we're gonna create a socket we're gonna we're gonna send the socket socket that af inet and we're gonna make a socket for sock stream there we go that's good we're gonna have timeout for this connection attempt let's just say set timeout let's just make it one so this is in seconds now we will have our result of the connection which will be saved in a variable called result and it's gonna be uh, the socket connect target and the port the target we have the target here let's just call it target uh let's see if, actually let's just put this here like this if 
that minimizing the code if this result of the connection equals zero means the port is open port put the port here and let's we'll just say it's open and else we'll just say the print f string port and our port here closed we go here oh one thing if we need to add the port to our open ports if you found the port just say app and port this is good now after we try all this we need to close our session and we add an accept block for our error, error handling socket.gia error so let's just call hostname, hostname could not be resolved and we're gonna hit a break here now we have an ex another accept block we got socket if you have an error which it couldn't connect connect to the server so this is socket we're trying to initiate the connection if the connection doesn't uh doesn't happen we'll just print in couldn't connect to the server i break it uh let's add another exception if we have another type of error it's called an exception and as e now if we catch any other uh exceptions that may occur during the scan we just put them here as print uh, f string error while scanning this port or port we need we need to put here the port and this is the error okay time for the exciting part we'll run our python port scanner on a local network target as it scans will uncover the open or closed targets or doors together it's like a detective work for uh, network security so uh, let's just run it real quick so one of my internal ports will be 9192 1.4 we scan from the 1 to a 1000 range it should be pretty fast and yep no port found so if we run it again and I have my 16.0.8 this is my machine a hosted machine let's try to target this one make sure when you're targeting a machine you have an explicit authorization from whoever has it so this is mine so I can target it scan from 1 to 3000 because I know what which ports are open let's just make it from 20 to 3000 here we go it's scanning pretty fast that's good yeah here we go port 21 open okay before we wrap up let me share some essential tips and info uh, about what we're doing over here so always please scan your own networks or get permission from a network you want to scan first don't just go there and scan a network and that you don't own or you don't have any permission over don't just scan anywhere thank you for watching we covered a lot today from the basics of port scanning to building our own port scanner in python knowledge is fantastic but it's essential to use it wisely if you had fun and want to learn more hit that subscribe button and join our family thanks for hanging out with me today and until the next time stay curious stay safe and keep learning bye bye